Okay, so question 10 here. Um, mean temperature is recorded in Camborne during September. Okay, so we've got temperature and we are working with greater than 11 T, greater than or equal to 13, or less than, and then 13 greater than T, less than equal to 15, and then greater than 15, up to 17. Okay. And we've got frequency. And we've got 12, 14, and 4. Okay. So it says use your calculator to find the estimate of the means of the standard deviation and the standard deviation. All right. So the mean is x bar. Now, to put this in, we need to have uh, mid values here of 12, 14, and 16. Okay, but we need frequency. Now, you may or may not know how to do this on the calculator, and it's going to be a little bit hard to show you, I think. Um, let's have a look and see what we can do. First things first. Can I make myself bigger? Yes, I can. Okay. One FX ninety nine one. Okay. So what we need to do here is we are going to need to press the menu button. Okay. And then we're going to come down to the bar graph there. Okay. Which is down as statistics. And we get the whole one variable y a x and we're going to go into number one and you've got x and you've got frequency now there's a good chance that your calculator will have frequency on it okay so how do you get frequency on it you have to go into setup okay so shift setup okay there it is where you normally change around for doing your radians and stuff and if you come down one, okay, you can see number three there has statistics on it. So we'll press that and you then get frequency on or off. You need to say we need to have a frequency on. Okay, right. Once that's in, you can input your information into there 12, 14, and 16 for your x values. Okay, so 12, 14, and 16 and then come across to your frequency option and you can put in 12 14 and 4 12 14 and 4 basically mimic what you've been given okay now it doesn't matter if you've got the frequency on there if you're using this for uh, an x doing something else you just put a frequency of one automatically so you can just leave it turned on once you've got it turned on Right, with that all done, we need to go to the option button there beside calc, okay, over here, okay, and that wasn't it. Um, what was it? So once that's all done, press options, then you can press three for variable calculations, and it gives you all the solutions. And you can see there, x bar is 13.466, so we will write that in here 13 point what was it 466 466 and we will also put in the what is it we are looking for standard deviation isn't it yep so standard deviation which is this thing okay and you can see it there on the calculator as well just there and it's coming out as a 1.359 1.359 okay so there is that now then let's make myself a bit smaller and now carry on so there's using the calculator to find mean standard deviation when we've got a frequency. Okay, now then, part B, use linear interpretation. We've done plenty of these by now. Okay, 
So B, linear interpretation of this, we need to do a 10% and a 90%. Okay, so how many do we have here? We've got 12 cumulative frequency, 12, 26, 30. So 10% would be the first three people. 90%, we can do it from the backwards of the 17 and take a, another three off there, okay, which would be person number 27, okay, is what we need to look for. Um, and so we will go from there. So what do we have? We've got three people on that one and three people on that one, which gives us space one. So let's do a 10% marker. Okay, which we've decided is three. So 13 take away the 11 is equal to two. Two divided by the 12 is one sixth. One sixth times three. Times three is a half and a half added onto the 11. 11 plus a half is equal to 11.5. Okay, so that's your 10% mark at 11.5 uh, days. Temperature, no, 11.5 degrees. Okay, now let's do the 90% mark. Okay, so again, it's up here, 17 take away 15. 17 take away 15 is 2. 2 divided by, we've got 4 people in this group this time. Okay, which of course is a half. And then, given the fact that we're coming backwards through, we're going to the first person, so I'm actually only adding that half onto the 15. Okay, in terms of, by the time we've counted that up, we've got to 26, and one person 27. Okay, so 15 plus a half fifteen point five for your ninety percentile point. Okay, fifteen point five. There it is. Um and then they want it as a range, so we will do the range of the ninety percent, take away the ten percent course is 15.5 take away 11.5 which is 4 okay degrees centigrade right then part c to finish up this question part c estimate the number of days in september where the daily mean temperature in camborne is more than one standard deviation greater than the mean The mean was 13.466, okay, so the mean plus the standard deviation is going to be that 13.466. Adding on to that is the standard deviation of there 13.466 plus 1.359 and that gives us 14.825 so 14.825 we need to look at here and say well we know the midpoint here is 14 how many days are above 14.85 Okay, so we need to figure out what the spacing is between the 13 and 15, just like doing the 10%, 90% work. Okay, find out what the spacing and the gapping is, and then see how many we need until we get above 14.85, and then add it all together. So, 
let's have a look then so we can look at the range between it and we can say well 15 to 13 is a gapping of two and that gapping of two needs to be shared by the 14 people inside there which is one seventh okay and so now as we put on 13 and we add a seventh and add a seventh etc at what point do we get to 14 when you add all of them up do we get to 14.825 okay or in fact greater than 14.25 so what do we have here we've got 13 plus an unknown number let's call it x uh, they've sort of used x already haven't they um, let's call it n times a seventh and that needs to be greater than 14.825 okay so little bit of algebra work just tidy that up so n over 7 is greater than 14.825 take away 13 is the 1.825 multiply that by the 7 and that gives us 12 so n is greater than 12.775 so anywhere that we've got 12.75 will be bigger than it so we need number 13 okay so we need the 13th person okay so coming back up here as we come along we get the 13th person that will leave us one more for the 14th person from there we come in here get those 13 people there is then that one person and all of these are greater than that 14.8 that we needed plus the other four who are between the 15 and 17 and so we can say 14 take away 13 equals 1 the 1 plus the 4 equals 5 5 days uh, are greater than the mean plus the standard deviation in September okay 